Hello everyone, it's Pai Uri side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to solve cloud pair turn style capture in Silverblade. Now it's very easy. So first of all I have a target website. Okay. Uh, so cloud pair turn style and I want to solve it. So here I have a target website called app.seosoft.com. Okay. So when you open this website you will see uh, this is very fine for the cloud pair capture this is known as turn style okay this type of capture is known as turn style so it will automatically get solved and it will return success and sometimes it will ask you to click or hit on here is by back box so you have to click on that manually and then it will be solved so let's see how these things are working so basically uh, if i type uh, username Let's say email ID here and, and password is candidate123 and hit enter. It says the username and password is incorrect and it will again start verification. Okay. So everything looks good. And now see if what was the login request that was made. So here's the login request uh, with a prelude. Okay. So this is the final endpoint that we have to target. Now, what does it require? Basically, think, pick, uh, three things. A member login, which is URL, password, and a solution for this uh, capture. Okay, turn style capture. So, how do you know this is turn style? First, just by looking. Secondly, it will be written here. Okay. Also, in the HTML page, you will find the same thing. So, okay, so same thing. Now, to solve uh, this we have to use a third party service and we are using two captcha okay unfortunately syllable do not provide any uh, tool for solving uh, to captcha directly or automatically here in the solvers you can see there's no option for directly solving turn style so let's see how can we do it actually it's very easy to implement let's go for the implementation piece so here's the documentation page of 2Captcha API and if you click on the solving CAPTCHA I'll provide the link here or you can also just type the same in your browser and you will get the same thing So it says our API is based on HTTP request and support about HTTP and HTTPS protocols There's two endpoints that we have to call that is one to submit the uh, payload for solving the turn style and one to receive the solution Okay, two things uh, here the process, get your API key uh, You have to get your API key by making certain payment Okay So you will get an API key like this And this is known as key Okay, remember So again, you have uh, the, to make a HTTP request to this URL uh, Along with a, a payload With side data Which I'll explain in some time Don't worry And once it's solved, we have to uh, Once it's sent, we have to uh, Get the response from this so let us go to here, turn style if it's written here anywhere. Uh, let's go a little bit. You can just directly type turn style here actually. Put enter. Yes, so Cloudflare turn style is a captcha made by Cloudflare. There are two cases, a standalone captcha widget. This is what we are using. Okay. So to use this, we need few things like uh, this. You can see method turn style, key, page URL, and JS. So we need these things. The main thing is uh, key. We can get it from uh, our to capture uh, dashboard page. And what we need is site P and page URL. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, what I am going to do is find out a uh, site key. So I will just make the uh, HTTP request to this page. And hit enter, start. And let's check in the logs if it's the site key is there. So site key, if I type it, enter. So here you can see the uh, C of turnstyle and data is side P. So we need to pass this thing. 
So we'll just copy and use the pass LR method. Okay, we have already done all these things previously. Okay, so that's why I'm just uh, taking all it from here okay, directly. Uh, let's just give it a name data site key. Okay, uh, we are good to go. Now we have to make a request to this first URL, which is uh, this. Okay, uh, we are going to just start solving. So, plus HTTP request here, the URL will be this. This will be a post request. And what are the payload? This. So, let us copy it, paste it here. Here, uh, keep it turn style. We need the API key. So, I need to get my API key, which uh, I'll just wait a second. I can get it from here directly, okay, to capture, or you can get uh, go to the dashboard of to capture API and get away breaking. This will be unique, and my will be reset, so don't lose this. Uh, let's remove this temporary API key and paste my own. Good, and we have to give the page URL where you are getting the uh, this capture. So the page is this, you can see app.seosoft.com slash login. So you have to paste the login uh, URL, page URL here. There's a space stick. And make sure, uh, make all of it on one line because silver bullet doesn't support multi-line payload. So like this. Okay, so we are good to go. Let us copy it and go to our config and paste in the post data. Uh, this will be a application slash JSON. Make sure. Okay. And method will be post. And what it will return? It should return us a status and request. Okay. So we need to get the request. So let's just click on the pass. Since we know that we are going to get this, we are directly uh, using this method. Uh, we have to get a request value. Okay, remember how we are doing? We are making a request to this URL uh, to uh, to capture EK. And in response, we will get a response like this, which has two pages, status and request. So that's why I am directly putting it like this. And I will give it a name as request ID. Everything looks good. Let's just let me just run it once and show you if it's working or not. Then we'll move further. So we have got the data site key, and if it's correct, we should get something like this error wrong user key. You provided P parameter value in correct format, which could contain 32 symbols. What's the issue? Okay, I haven't provided the API to my fault. Actually, I have to paste this one here in the place of API key and in the place of site key, it should be data site key. My fault, sorry. So let us replace it here in this TTP request and let's run it. And let's see if it works or not. Yes, yeah, so we are getting status one and request ID this. Moving further, they say that uh, once you get this, uh, we have what we have to do. Uh, mm -mm -mm. If we scroll down a little, we have got the request here, and now we have to make a request to the next endpoint, which is aria.php in this format. We have to pass e action and uh, ID, okay, and it will return us. Three things: the status, the request, and user agent. So we have to replace the user agent. Also, uh, if it, if we don't get it like instantly, we have to wait for five seconds. Okay. So this is concept. Since we don't have, it's not possible that the uh, capture gets solved instantly. Okay. So we will 
wait for five seconds, pull it until we get the entire capture solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable functions uh, string. Oops, sorry. Uh, constants constant string. I'll create a variable called status. I'll give it a variable zero. It means we haven't got the solution. Okay. Just remember this. If it becomes one, it means we have a solution. So here I have a script. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a while loop. Uh, all, all we also have learned this while our status variable not equal to one. Okay. While our status variable is not equal to one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a request here to what URL? The URL will be uh, this thing. Where's this? This one. So, I'll just copy and paste it here. First, we need to pass the API key. So, let's just pop it and paste it here. Then we have to pass the ID which we have stored in uh, did we store it or not? yes, request id very good ok, so request id pop it and paste in the payload sorry, uh, it should go in here, url ok this is a get request Remember, this is not a payload, this is a uh, get request. So, what happens that it will uh, return a status like this, okay? Uh, this result like this. So, again, if status is 0, it means the capture is not solved. And if status is 1, it's solved. So, we'll try to uh, parse the status value from the JSON that we will receive. And all this is within a while loop, remember? So here is status and if it is 0, what I am going to do, I am going to just put a sleep of 5 seconds. So for 5, you have to write 5000. Now, if it get complete, if, if it uh, gets, uh, the status becomes 1, this while loop will become, uh, this when the status of the value of status will become 1 and the while loop will grip. Okay. It means uh, we have to end the while loop at some point of time. So, interrupt step. After the delay part, we will just put the end while loop. Now, let me just show you what is happening here. So, while status not equal to 1, we are making a request. Uh, we are just uh, picking the value of uh, uh, status okay and we have to store it in a status variable actually status otherwise this will not be matched then we have to put a delay of 5000 again if it's zero again it will just run like this okay i hope you know the concept of while loop we have discussed already however if it becomes one this uh, condition will become false and we will get out of the while loop so everything looks good. Now the finally what we have to do, we have, since we have got the solution, uh, we have to parse it. So parse. What we are getting in the solution, three things, status, request and user agent. Okay. So let's just put it as JSON. So the first is uh, request. You can see the peak. Okay, so this is the solution of the CAPTCHA. So, here this is the key and I will store it in variable called solution. And the another thing is a user agent. So, the user P for user agent is user agent. And I'll give it, store it in variable called UP. Everything looks good. Now, finally, we have to make a final request. 
which was uh, this one. If I go to doc, uh, remember this logging one. Okay, so I'll just copy this, copy as curl, go to here, and put it here. Okay, so we this is our last page that we have to make. Copy and let's paste here. So this will be email, and you have to make it type it user here. This is your password, so type pass here. This is the solution, so type sol here. This match the variable names actually. What is this? Sol x. Actually, it's sol. Now we will just copy this and paste here in the HTTP request. Oh, let's put a HTTP request block uh, here. This is uh, URL encoded content. And you have to copy till here. Okay. And let's just copy from here till accept and paste here. Uh, remember, we have to replace this user agent with the one we are getting. So we have stored in the UV variable in this block. And finally, uh, we have to put the URL. So this is the URL of the request and it's a post. Okay, so URL is this. Oops, it's not copied. Let me just try again. Actually, it's the same URL, so I can copy it from here directly and paste here. And this is a post method. So I think everything is completed. Now let me try running. And let's see if it works or not. And let's do one more thing. In this here, append response cookies uh, method is this, and this is a for Yes, so let's try running and let's see if it works or not. Okay, unable to st establish SSL with HTTP server to capture.com. And Let's try once again. We have to pass user and password remember in this format. Okay. Let's try. So here uh, we have got the data site key like previously. We have got the request ID. Uh state zero request capture not ready. We will wait for five seconds. Okay. So again it's not ready. Again, not very. Uh, yes, so we've got something you can see the user agent, and this is the solution. So it is passed now, and here we have got something. So let's see if it worked or not. How can we check if uh, this message inside it means we are successful? So control F. And here you can see we have successfully solved the captcha. Okay, so this is how you can solve captcha. Just uh, put the correct password and you will be able to log in and continue the forward uh, request. Okay, for the request. And it will occur only once, so you don't have to worry about next. Yes, guys, so this is it. In the next tutorial, we'll try to solve some another type of captcha. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.